All right, folks, welcome back to Heaps of Games. So we've got the Chainsaw demo for Resident Evil 4. Capcom just announced it. Uh, I think this was really kind of leaked earlier on in the day. So I was kind of prepared for it. Look, I'm a massive Ori fan. I'm really, really hyped for this remake. Uh, so I'm going to do this. Let's do this. Let's get into this straight away. Let's hit start. Now, I don't believe this is a timed demo from the information I just picked up on. I'm going to go to May Story, new game. Let's get straight into it. Uh, I'll be honest with you, Dal, I haven't looked at any of the previews. 1998. It's a day I'll never forget. The cop inside me died that day. And that night, Raccoon City was wiped out, thanks to the bioweapons created by Umbrella. Somehow I made it out, but too many others weren't so lucky. I was asked later to join a top secret government program. Not that I had a choice. The training, punishing missions, nearly killed me. But at least I kept my mind off everything. If I could just forget what happened that night, the pain, even for a second, this time, it can be different. It has to. Yeah, very cool. They're linking it back to the RE2 remake, which I really, really like in that introduction there. Very, very cool. So going into the backstory, if you've not played RE4, let's just move on straight away. Here we go, chapter one. So I'm assuming this is just going to be a segment, really, of and a flavor of the game. God, lads, it looks gorgeous straight away, straight off the bat. It just looks absolutely gorgeous. Now I can run by left clicking in the analog. Okay. But I'm just trying to soak it all in here. Wow. Now my recording is at 1080p, just to note on my capture card, 60 FPS. How far could he have gone? But even still at that resolution, it looks amazing. I've always loved Capcom's RE engine, to be honest. They do great work with it, and it's it's actually really, really optimized. So we're expecting, I'm hoping, let's say when we play this on our other consoles, and I'm not recording, it should be running at 4K, 60 FPS, or variable, or there or thereabouts. This is the Xbox version of the demo, by the way. So I checked the I checked the PlayStation Store and I did not see it up on the PlayStation Store as of yet. I'm just going to have a look around here, guys. Just browse around, make sure. Okay, nothing around here. Let's just go in here. I think we're going to get the first famous, infamous scene we all, we all RE4 fans should know about. It's a much darker tone to it as well. Anyone home? Okay, this little extra bedroom here, I like it. Judgment is nigh. Okay, creepy. So it's got a file system similar to that of RE4. I can look through there, can I? See a fireplace. Anything else here? No. I'll try and pace this a little bit slower for everybody. <laughs> try and build some tension. Although I know I really know what's gonna happen, it's just I don't know what way they've designed it. Or maybe not, maybe I don't know. Where is he? He's supposed to be oh shit, he's fucking behind me. <laughs> okay, I got caught. Wow. <laughs> Sorry to barge in like this. Okay, that was a little subtle change there from the original RE4. Oh man, it's definitely creepier, alright. <laughs> There's some great camera work in the cutscenes. <laughs> oh 
Wow, Leon, you just snapped it the shit out of his neck. <laughs> Snap. Okay, so yeah, in the original game, you actually had to take him out with the um, with the pistol, if I remember. And he was lying on the center of the floor, so I like the little subtle adjustments there. And the lighting is just stunning. I'm loving it. Okay, so I got a key. What else, what else did he drop? Okay, that's the badge. Can you inspect it? No, we can't. Um... <laughs> yeah, he, as soon as he saw Guts, he, he took out the pistol. I didn't actually do that, he just took that out himself. Okay, um, so the key is to be used here. Alright, let's use this key. Oh, turn the flashlight on, good lad. <laughs> it's way more tense. Yeah, and again, anyway, if you've played Resident Evil 2 or 3 Remake, the controls pretty much feel natural to that, even the Resident Evil 8 uh, third person. Oh, freaky. Okay, I love the camera angles, love the smooth transitions into the cutscenes as well, it seems very, very seamless. So it's one of the dead cops. Now, I remember the two of them were hanging up, burnt alive, in the center of town in the original RE4, so... Again, something different here. What's your situation? Okay, I imagine, and definitely imagine here, right, that for anyone who's never played Resident Evil 4 before, this is going to be even more incredible. Not just, I suppose, for long-time fans, let's say. Because even the experience for me as an RE4 veteran, I've beaten that game 10 times plus. I mean... Oh, shit. Here, oh, this fucker back again. Oh, don't grab me. Oh. Oh. Hashtag use the knife, baby. Fuck. Oh. I don't know. I just, I don't, I'm just pressing buttons there like mad. Oh. That was all very seamless. Very cool. So I liked the I liked the thought the I actually broke his neck with a kick. So Leon broke his neck with a kick earlier on. So now oh fuck. <laughs> Can you be stealthy in this? Oh He's gonna come up behind me or something now. No doubt. He's in there, he's in there. With dodgy lads. Oh god. Oh fuck, get out of there. Just just get out. No, it's locked. <laughs> can I can I barge it open? No shit I can't. I'm actually nervous. I don't know if there's a crouch button. Can I sneak up behind him? Oh I can, yes. Get in! Oh, lovely. So this is a stealth mechanic as well. Now, I don't know whether or not he's going to stay down, but let's just get the shit out of here. Ooh. Okay, we've got a green herb. Nice. Let's head back up this way. Okay, we're out. We're at the door. It's not always a good idea to lock a door without thoroughly investigating the room that you're after locking yourself into, but anyway. <laughs> Bruce, this is Gondor 1. Hunnigan here, what's your sit rep? The president's daughter, Baby Eagle. It's likely she's in this village. Our intel was correct then. Well done. Need a location on a nearby lake. She may have been taken there. 
Copy that. I'll see what I can find. Hurry up. Something's happened to the people here. My escorts are... <laughs> Talk later. Oh, it gives me the shining vibes with the axe coming through the door. Oh shit, get out early on. I'll let myself out. I have only six bullets, so I don't know I don't know whether I'm supposed to take these guys on or what. Maybe not. Maybe they were giving me a warning. Okay, alright, let's keep moving on. Very, very cool deviation from the original uh, intro, if that makes sense. It just game just sucks gorgeous. Just really does. Okay, I wonder, are we going to see a big mad boulder somewhere now? Or maybe I'm thinking too far ahead. Oh no, we're going to we're going to come to the village, I assume. So right trigger is it just naturally uses the knife. There we go. Got some pistol ammo or pistol ammo. Reload the. Reload my pistol there. Okay, we got a. Got a typewriter. Now I wonder if there's uh, levels of difficulty. I can't save. It'd be the demo anyway. I wonder if there's a level levels of difficulty when you actually get the main game. That's going to be of interest to everybody as well. Is there going to be a normal, hard, easy, or whatever? I wonder... I'm always thinking of uh, collecting jewels. I don't know if that's a thing in the new game as well. I'm assuming it's going to be. Oh no, the dog, the poor dog. We were supposed to be able to save him. Well, we were in the original. I hope that's not the dog. Anyway, the bastards, I'll have to get them back. Gonna have to be some payback for killing the doggo. Okay, it's kind of going through subtle little training hints here. Okay, we got money. We got cash money. Okay, gotta gotta watch these spare traps. I'm assuming they're gonna be high. Oh yeah, kick in the face, bitch. You hit them in the knee. No. Oh shit. Oh, he's, what, what was he doing there? Was he? Oh, I think he was just about to transform into something there. Okay, that was very cool. I need to improve my aim though. Combat is really tense, but really, really natural and fluid, if that makes sense. Oh, shit, and didn't I get caught with a bear trap? <laughs> I, need, I need to use some help. Let's use that. So what, why is Axis in the um, suitcase? So anyway, I got a bit of health back there. What else actually did I have there? I had not okay. First aid spray is there as well. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I don't even know how I did that. Oh, I press LB. By accident. I actually did that by accident. Kick him, kick him in the face. That's it. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, and I got a red herb and I could have ended up combining him. But anyway, what harm. And we got a flashbang too that will come in handy. Let's keep going. So, okay, up, down, left, right to change weapons. Nice. So we're going to use the D-pad to switch around there. Okay, let's head through here. Now, ah, okay, so now we're coming to the, let's call it the infamous scene. Oh, 
Oh, he's so doomed. Oh, the, oh my god, burnt alive. Wow, grim, lads. Grim. The bastards. Yeah, let's... Is there a, oh, yeah, there is a way to crouch. So I press B to crouch. Okay. So we can play this stealth like too. And as you've seen earlier on, I was able to actually go up behind someone and take somebody out with the knife. So... So it's kind of a stealth element that wasn't really present in... I'm going to take out this biatch. She doesn't turn around, hopefully. Boom. Make some of that. Come on, Leon. Okay, we got resources. Don't know what that's for. Um, I probably shouldn't smash the window because that wouldn't be a good idea. Let's just kind of keep it stealthy for a minute. Guys around here. Nice and easy through this. In, in here. In here. We've got more ammo there. Nothing else. Oh, oh shit. Here we go. Okay, they're all alert now, anyway. Oh shit. Flashbang time, baby. Oh, the melee system is so good, guys. I'm gonna run out of my knife, though. That's the only thing. Headshot, baby. Hit her. No. Stay down. Oh, no. Chainsaw is here, is he? Oh, he's just setting a bear trap. Oh, I love the way he changed the pistol lag. That was so cool. Oh, yeah. Let's get out of there. <laughs> I'm absolutely in love with this combat system, guys. It's just feeling so good. Okay, run, Dion, run. I gotta say, the music, the change, the subtle change in the the soundtrack is just amazing as well. Uh oh, behind me! Oh, he's come through the door this time. No, let's not skip the cutscene. I wonder is the shotgun in the same area? Oh my god, the head in him. Get out of there! Even the even the chicken is attacking me. <laughs> get in here quick. Get in here, get in. Oh no. Oh shit, he's in here. What the fuck? No way. I was going in to get the shotgun. Oh, oh no, I'm gonna die. Pause it. No, use your health, you fool. I'm panicking. <laughs> Stop telling me how to play. I don't want to play. Can I combine this? Yes, I can. Actually, no, I just need to use this for now. Oh, I really want to get that shotgun. Get off me. Don't touch me. Oh shit, the cow's on fire. Fuck. <laughs> this is crazy. I need this shotgun. Come on, it has to be in here, is it? No, oh, it's just a hand grenade, but it'll come in handy. Oh my god, get out of there. Get out of there, Leon. No. Oh. That's my knife gun. Let me see if I can line up the grenade. No, I need to get more of them in here. Come on. 
Let's see if I can get them all piled up together. Where's the chainsaw guy? No, I don't. I'm a, I don't want to use this. I don't want to use this. That. She's no. Sorry, my bad. The chains. The shotgun is up here. What am I doing? Oh no! Can't open that. Oh fuck it! Let's just use a grenade. <laughs> Go on. Oh no! Sorry, I keep pressing A. They're leaving, they're leaving. I assume this is going to be the end of the demo, guys. I'm just taking a pop here, but... I tell you what, the, the chainsaw guy with the two bloody eyes coming through the bit bag, the the bag on his head. Oh my god, that was really well done. Sorry guys, I kept saying the shotgun was in that area. I was wrong. The shotgun is upstairs, and I never went up to get it. <laughs> everyone going? Bingo? Guys, absolutely amazing demo. It just feels so good to play, if that's how I explain this. The game just feels so good to play. Anyway, that's the demo done. Wow, really enjoyed that. So what I gotta say is, guys, thanks for watching today. Um, if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed what you've seen here, please consider supporting me by subscribing. This game is going to be amazing. I'm going to be covering this, obviously, in the next two weeks. I'm going to be actually live streaming the Wii version of the original Resident Evil 4 next Friday, too. So stay tuned for that. And, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.